talk about price too. I think that's what everybody's gonna wanna know. And the whole reason why people go to Dave Smith's is because they're a high volume dealer and they can sell you a truck for a much better price. I don't wanna, um, <clears throat> I don't wanna talk about it in a way that's unclassy, but I'm just gonna be open and honest with you about what I paid for this truck. <laughs> All right, it is uh, four in the morning, the day of picking up the truck. We're getting ready to leave the house. Just got out of the shower. Got to sneak out without waking up uh, Brooklyn now that she's sleeping in her big girl room, which is in the very front of the house next to the front door. So have to be pretty quiet, kind of sneak out. So let's go get on the road, head up to the airport. All right, what's up, guys? So I didn't film going to the airport. I was really tired this morning. Stopped at McDonald's, got a couple things to eat. Um, sausage McMuffin with egg is my jam. Got on a little propeller airplane from Alaskan Airlines to fly up here to Spokane, Washington, which is where I'm actually currently at. I'm at the Spokane airport. And uh, you know, after this whole week with like Kobe Bryant and everything, I was really nervous to get on an airplane. And that's not like me, I fly all over the place been in you know lots of airplanes never been nervous like that before so that was a different experience especially getting on a little propeller airplane it was a, a bumpy ride out of Portland so we're here now we're heading to the shuttle service so gotta go find this shuttle guy got like an hour drive left I think it is seemed like he is really cool dude he called me on the phone so let's go find him here we go I'm gonna guess that guy right there is my shuttle. What do you guys think? There's two of them here. Look at that. Let's go check them out. Oh, look at that. He wants me to sit in the front seat. Yeah, we got two more coming yet. All right, sir, what's your name? Bo. Bo, Skyler, nice to meet you. All right, so in the van, my driver's pretty cool. We've been sitting here having a conversation. Got another couple back there getting in the van. So we got three of us in it. We got another van over there. So I think he says it's an hour and 15 minute drive. So here we go. We own everything behind Walmart. months ago it was the longest single stage gondola in the world. The one that goes all the way up there? Up there and way back beyond. Oh. There we are. And that building I was telling you, that brown building, uh -huh. that's the one they're going into. Uh, that's the one I told you Dave started with. This. Chevy went up here? The, no, oh, the, the brick building, building on the corner. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, that came up for sale. That guy was telling Skyler he had a plan, and apparently it worked pretty well. Yeah, the see, things have kind of worked out for him. <laughs> and if you're a hunter, you're going to like some of the trophies in that building. Oh yeah. Yeah, the Smith boys are big into hunting. There's a lot of trophies. Well, it's good to meet you, man. Yeah, you too, Skyler. This is absolutely nuts. This is my guy here, Murphy, and all these different desks. Look at that. Damn. My battery's gonna die. It didn't charge it. that squatty ass. It is pretty. Wow. A 
Look at the interior of this thing. My goodness. Just crazy, crazy. All right, camera's about to die, so I'm gonna have to charge it before I can do any more videoing. All right, so I got the keys. Sitting here at Murphy's desk. They got just this whole line of chairs here. More desks that way. And then you go through this hallway, and then it's another room like this on the other side, so all these desks. And then all these guys are managers. Pretty crazy. All right, got my baggie from Tammy. Tammy already took off. And we got Murphy here. It's been nothing but a pleasure to work with. I head out to the truck. Really, aside from a couple paperwork snafus, it's been super simple. And I've got just submitted your. Uh, for $100 referral fee too. For Casey? Yep. That building is awesome. Isn't that the original building? Yep. And then it's just been built off of this? Mm -hmm. And so if you see this one too, here we'll go over here so you can actually see it. This building that we have is actually a, uh, was originally a school, elementary school. And they built Were they the accessories? Office. Yeah, so it, the accessories and there's other in the back there's the original school okay yeah the old brick building yeah. there's the accessory building and they have lots all over this town with hundreds of trucks and they got these trucks right here that they accessory guys get to pimp out and do some different things to so those ones are kind of cool dang she's all mine a little dirtier than she was this morning. That's all right. She'll be really dirty by the time we get home. <laughs> cool. What else we got to do, man? That's it, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate you, man. I really do. Cool. Yeah. Shit. It's kind of surreal. Now I have to drive for eight hours. All right, getting on the road. Just want to pop this and look at it really quick. So, for you, uh, Cummins owners, you can already tell what transmission this has by what side the dipstick is on. But let's get on the road and maybe when I stop for food, I can do a little bit better overview of this truck. Kind of, kind of do a walk through. But it's a uh, Ram 3500 Limited Dually Mega, and boy is she beautiful. I just came from a 2017 3500 Laramie, but these Limiteds are on a whole nother level. So, let's get on the road. <coughs> and uh, let's see you at our next stop. So, it's really windy out here, but I parked over there, went in, got some Taco Bell. Their bathroom was absolutely disgusting. So, I'm gonna go into this quick store here, get an energy drink or something, and see if they have a restroom I can use. Hopefully that stuff's good. I haven't had any of the pepper stuff, but I like the other stuff. Thank you. Okay. Have a good day. I did. Filming the experience. So that lady was nice. Got to use a clean restroom at that place. Now let's go back over to the truck and do a little bit of a walk around. All right, set that there for now. All right, so it's super windy, so I'm gonna try and do my best. 
I came all the way up here to Dave Smith's, the infamous Dave Smith, in Kellogg, Idaho, to buy a new truck. And what we have here is a Ram 3500 Limited Dually. Bright white, not the pearl white. <clears throat> this thing is loaded with uh, different options that you can get on the Limited. It's got the airbags on it, the auto air. It's got the Laramie level one, or the Limited level one package. Comes with the Harman Kardon sound system. Obviously, being a Limited, uh, I think these are standard on the Limiteds. I think it's an option on the Laramies. All right, so always hear about going to Dave Smith's to buy a truck and what the experience is. So I figured I'd film the whole thing. Um, great experience. I got in contact with a guy by the name of Murphy, which you seen earlier in the video. And I told him exactly what I was looking for. Um, for those who know me, once I get dead set on what it is I'm looking for, that's that's pretty much it. So the poor guy had to deal with me acting like that. He was able to find me exactly what I was looking for, Laram or uh, Mega Cab Dually. It's already got the fifth wheel prep. Spray and bed liner, LED bed lighting. Look under here and see the airbags. So you can see the airbags right there. Talk about price too. I think that's what everybody's gonna wanna know. And the whole reason why people go to Dave Smith's is because they're a high volume dealer and they can sell you a truck for a much better price. I don't want to. Um, <clears throat> I don't want to talk about it in a way that's unclassy. But I'm just going to be open and honest with you about what I paid for this truck. Um, I, I think that's the whole reason why somebody would travel to Dave Smith's is to go to get a good deal. So I'm just gonna be open, transparent, I'm gonna tell you exactly what I paid. But let's check this truck out really quick. So we got a Ram 3500 Limited Mega Cab, uh, bright white. It's got the high output diesel, which was, uh, now that they have the new option, I want the high output with the ASIN transmission because I'm pulling a pretty heavy fifth wheel. Standard equipment uh, has a 373 axle ratio, but over here in the options, it's been upgraded. So on this specific truck, we got the protection group, the cold weather group, the fifth wheel towing prep. We got the body colored bumpers. We got the limited level one equipment group, which comes with the Harman Kardon um, speakers here and here and the tweeters in the door up in the headliner. It's pretty nice. It sounds quite a bit better than my last truck. Um, it's got the 410 axle ratio and it's got the sunroof dual rear wheels um so total msrp sticker comes out to eighty-eight thousand four hundred and fifty. um cut straight to the chase i bought this truck for seventy-five thousand flat out the door through dave smith so thirteen thousand four hundred and fifty off of msrp um, obviously that's not gonna be the case with every single truck uh, it is January of 2020 this is a 2019 model truck so they obviously were a little more aggressive about getting rid of this truck I checked the door jam over there this truck was actually manufactured and built October of 2019 so yeah it's a 2019 but it's a brand new 2019 that they were able to get very aggressive on the price had 22 miles on it when I picked up, so why would I not take the better deal? Um, so yeah, they were able to get pretty aggressive on the price. So that was the deal that we made. That's why I flew to Dave Smith's. That's a little bit about the truck. Um, 
Let's get back on the road. Maybe at the next pit stop, we'll talk a little bit about what it was like once I got to the dealership. What it was like to deal with Murphy, the salesman. What it was like to deal with the finance guy. How long it took me. All those uh, logistical questions. Let's uh, get back on the road though. Let's go. All right, what's up guys? Going down the road here. I was gonna pull over and tell you a little bit about my experience walking into the dealership, dealing with uh, uh, my sales guy, Murphy, and uh, the finance lady that uh, I ended up dealing with. I believe her name was Tammy. Uh, everywhere up here in Washington, which I'm currently driving through, is just super windy. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but back there where I stopped and talked to you a little bit about the truck, it was windy too, so I figured I would just, while going down the road, put the camera up and uh, record while going down the road and tell you a little bit about my experience of getting there. Um, so this morning, woke up early, went up to my airport that was closest to me, which was Portland, and then flew from Portland into Spokane. And then they had already called me the night before and had scheduled a shuttle pickup at the Spokane airport, which was pretty cool. It's nice, get it confirmation call the night before and make sure everything was squared away so uh, appreciate the call on the confirmation some lady had called and uh, so that was cool uh, get out of the airport or land at the airport actually and I get a call from an Idaho number and I didn't know who it was well it was the shuttle driver and he just wanted to make sure that I had gotten off the van or gotten off the uh, uh, plane rather appropriately and that I knew where I was going. And so I told him, yeah, I think I'm heading this direction. He said, yep, you're heading in the right direction. I'll see you when you get out here. I was like, cool. So get out, super awesome guy. Uh, had a chat with him all the way to the dealership. Uh, from Spokane Airport when you land and uh, the shuttle drive there is about an hour roughly, maybe a little bit longer, but not too bad of a drive, all freeway, uh, so quick get there and I walk inside and Murphy, the salesman I was dealing with, was on it. He just walked up. He's like, hey, you Skyler? I was like, yep, I sure am. He's like, you want a coffee, a beverage or anything? And I was like, well, it's been a long morning already. I'll take a coffee. So he takes me over to this little customer section and pretty sweet little area. They got a nice espresso machine. Um, I didn't uh, film any of it, I don't think. But uh, got myself like a vanilla, you know, mocha or something. And it was actually damn good. Go over and sit down at the uh, desk, kind of roughly go over some of our purchase order numbers and some of the other stuff that we had there, rebates and a couple other quick little signatures of, you know, what it is we were actually doing for the day um, before we head into the finance office. So we signed those and, uh, you know, a little small talk here and there. and pulls out the keys, he's like, all right, ready to go check out the truck? I'm like, absolutely, let's go for a test drive. So, go out and check out the truck, go for a quick test drive. They got this nice little loop, it's probably a five mile loop or something like that, leave the dealership, jump on the freeway, get off at the next exit, take the back roads back. Perfect little test drive, didn't need anything more than that. Get back and uh, kind of just button up every bit of paperwork that's in, uh, my file, you know, rebates, and uh, you know, copies of my driver's license, stuff like that, all the basic stuff. No pressure from uh, Murphy on me buying accessories or trying to like pre-game the warranty that they sell in the finance office, none of that. Just strictly small talk and waiting for the finance lady, which happened to be Tammy, to come out and get me. So we we're sitting there and Tammy comes along. Hey, are you Skyler? Yes, I am. And this is the point when anybody who's buying a vehicle knows, all right, well, I did all my work, got my you know price down to what I want. Now it's time to go into the finance office and you know put your shield on and put your gloves on and go to work because you know it's gonna take a hot minute to get out of there. I'm gonna try and tell you this, or gonna try and tell you that, right? None of that. No, none. Nothing, just no pressure to buy anything. No, uh, do you want, you know, a clear bra on your truck? No, uh, this or that. Um, we did touch base on like uh, buying an extended warranty, 
but it wasn't high pressure. It was like, this is what I can offer you. You have a truck that's very expensive. You do have a lot of things that could go wrong. You have your factory warranty outside of that. This is what I can offer you. Here are your prices. Um, and she didn't give me, you know, the uh, super high price and then come down, then come down. She's just like, hey, uh, just cut the shit. This is the price I can do for you. And, uh, you know, you don't even have to make a decision right now. I'm just gonna fold up this little piece of paper, put it in a pamphlet, go home, talk to your wife. You wanna do it? Give me a call. You have a little bit of grace period. I'll make it work for you. Really? That's it? Yeah, yeah that's fine. Awesome. All right, just sign here, a couple more things. All right, here's your little baggie. Here's your owner's manual. I'd read this, I'd read that. Okay, um, so now what? Let's go out and get murky and we'll get you on the road. It was that easy, guys. Would I buy another truck from Dave Smith? My experience so far has been great. Um, they also tint their front windows on all their trucks. Anyways, the, maybe not special orders, but all the ones that they have there in stock. So I get back from my test drive and I'm looking at the windows and I'm like, can you tint my front windows? He's like, yeah, we do on all of them. Didn't know that. You know, it might be just a small thing that they work into the deal, allows them to make a little bit of extra money. I don't care, let them make a little extra money. But the fact that it was already done, I want my front windows tinted. Most people want their front windows tinted. So, that was a cool surprise. Um, but yeah, so get out of the finance office with Tammy, shake her hand, just super awesome. Murphy just killed the deal the whole time. I was uh, super happy with him. He was just going to bat for me, trying to give me the best deal that he could, looking up different rebates and different things that he might be able to pull to you know, get his manager to you know, sign off on a purchase price. And you know, obviously, Obviously, he got the job done. So, um, I can't speak for any of the other salesmen. Murphy, dude, appreciate you. Appreciate you getting me in this truck. I wish you could drive me home so I didn't have to do it. That'd be my only complaint. But, uh, yeah, just figure out how to do this. I'm gonna probably get out and maybe do another walk around the truck. Um, talk about maybe some of the things I missed. But, yeah, uh, got a long drive ahead. Second pit stop of the drive. After the first restroom, it was like 20 miles and I had to go again. And it had empty water bottles in the truck. And so I was like, well, maybe I'll just pee in one of these water bottles. Right before, I was like, man, I'd hate to piss all over my truck. So here we are at the second rest stop. I'm gonna sit here and let the truck run. lock it, let it take a breather, and I'm gonna go and alleviate some of this pain. But after here, got one more stop, stop at the gas station, fill up, and then we'll be home. All right, last leg, here we go. We got uh, about 40 miles to go, so let's get this done. Guys, I don't know how well you can see me. Uh, get pretty close to being home. Got about 40 miles to go. On I-5, there is a way station. Uh, I don't know if they're gonna be open or closed. If they are open, I think we're gonna try and swing in there really quick and just ask the scale master if he'll let me weigh. Uh, I would like to know what this truck weighs empty. Just 
in comparison to my other truck, in comparison to when I start towing some stuff, I, I'd like to know what this truck weighs empty. Um, so, might pull it across the scale. Hopefully they're open. Came through and it took a picture of me, so I'm gonna walk over here and ask the scale lady if it'd be okay. Hi there. I wasn't sure and I didn't want to. Okay, awesome. You're awesome. Thank you. Cool. All right, so the scale lady was pretty awesome. I was like, it took a picture of me. She's like, oh, it does that every time. So she's like, just back up and run across the scale. So we're going to get to see what she weighs. Like I said, I said 8,700. So let's see what, it, let's see what she comes out at. I'll just set the camera right here. Now you guys might not be able to see this, but get on the scale here. And we're on 89.50. 50. Wow. Thank you. Eighty nine fifty. Okay, so I said eighty seven hundred. I was two hundred and fifty off. So I guess if you take if you take my ass out, I was right. Uh, be eighty seven fifty with me out. So I was pretty close. Oh, well, now I know. That referral thing that I signed up for you. Yeah. That's a hundred bucks coming your way. Oh sweet, sweet. Yeah, it's still maybe I was like I can't remember what they said. Uh. But I know the more people you get, the bigger it gets. All right, I was just gonna go straight home, but we are at Lowe's. Just gonna go ahead and fill it up now. So we don't have to do it in the morning. How's it going, man? It's going all right. You need help with anything tonight? Nah, man, I'm good. I appreciate it, though. Hey, I'll let you need something. Thank you, sir. All right, so we're just about done fueling up here at uh, Love's. See how many gallons it takes, kind of figure out a rough idea of what it took to get home. Sounds like it just kicked off. There she is. Looks like a short, uh, like squatty, pissed off bulldog with that mega cab box. Ooh, I love it. Just love the way it looks. Top her off. So 25.8 gallons, I was getting pretty close. I'm gonna guess it's like a, I don't know, 28 or 30 gallon tank on these mega cabs. I think that's about what my other one was. Oh. All right. Now, finally, for the last stop. Look at that, that step works good for you, sis. All right. I am home. Oh, let's see. There's probably a couple different things I could talk about. One, if you're gonna buy from Dave Smith's and you're gonna travel, is it worth the travel? I drove just a little over 500 miles to go pick up this truck. And I was a little bit worried about it, you know, if it was gonna be worth the drive. And I got picked up at the shuttle, that couple that you seen earlier in the video, they came from Alaska. They had a 2,200 mile drive ahead of them. So, when I started complaining about my 500 mile trip, I was like, felt bad. Um, yeah, they went 2,200 miles. That's nuts. The drive was, the drive was easy. How, how could you have a bad drive in a brand new vehicle? So, um, 
you're on the fence about going out there because of the drive, what better way to take a long drive in a brand new vehicle that you're excited about owning? It, uh, it was a great trip. Definitely check out Murphy. He treated me super well. Tammy, if you get to choose finance people. Now my neighbors are here, so I'm gonna wrap up this video. Um, go Dave Smith Autos. My experience was great. Do it. Ask for Murphy. Have a good night, guys. Mom, I was like, I'm gonna take her out. She's like, okay. Mom's already panicking. <laughs> Bye from Dave Smith Autos. Go see Murphy.